I have been in Bulgaria for the last couple of weeks searching for the best diving locations with fellow diver and partner Todor Spazov and it's been a very successful and enjoyable trip. We've visited two different waterfalls. Here are the green veer and blue veer. Jacket, First spot was uh, green veer. Almost 45 minutes hiking, which was a bit challenging. Watch out where you walk. Unfortunately, we didn't have the right depth. The veer was not deep enough, probably like less than two meter deep. So we managed to do a small jump from eight meter, but was shallow and we don't recommend anybody to dive there. So far, it's a beautiful place. Nothing lost. Then we moved to Blue Veer. The depth in this veer apparently came to four meter, but the four meter was really far from the spot that we can dive. But I did one dive that I couldn't reach far enough and then still I touched the bottom. So we decided that it's better we don't risk anymore. We are here in Tsurlenovo. Today the weather is amazing and uh, yeah, we've found a pretty cool spot to dive. So we're thinking we are about to gear up and, uh, and jump in the water. Place. I've seen Todor diving there before and it was uh, a place that, that was high up on my list to visit. We then moved on to Sozopol to dive at the Gurmankata, a narrow little cave and a really enjoyable place to dive. The first day that we planned to dive just wasn't possible because the sea wasn't cooperating. The winds were strong, there was waves, it was just a little bit dangerous. So we decided to go the next morning at sunrise and dive there. Oh look, I see it, the first sign. Gear up. There was maybe 10 to 15 jellyfish in the landing zone. It was a big jellyfish. 40 or 50 centimeters jellyfishes that when you land on them, they can hurt you also. Then we moved on to the Devil's Bridge in the Rudopi Mountains. It was just a stunning location. The main challenge that we came across was finding a clear spot underneath where there wasn't rocks. We had quite a, a narrow landing zone. The depths underneath, they varied from 3 meters 20 to about 4 meters 50. And we had to make sure that we were quite precise in the direction that we were diving. And Even that with the hard condition of exactly the spot that she have to land, she did quite unique dive. It's a reverse somersault with one twist, which for divers normally we don't do this. So with her skill like a trampoline and gymnastic skills, she's managing to do this dive. Coming from a 3 meter and 10 meter Olympic diving background, 
Coming to a sport like this, it's also very rewarding to mix my passion for the sport, nature, being in the outdoors and uh, yeah, just stepping out of my comfort zone on a regular basis.